Today, I'm going to be playing out the 2023 season for the Tennessee Titans, but after every touchdown that DeAndre Hopkins scores, we get to add a 99 overall player to this team. So, I mean, as long as DeAndre Hopkins plays well today, by the end of the video, the Titans should be absolutely unstoppable. But this is what the offense is looking like to start things off. I mean, clearly, they could use some work. And on the other hand, I mean, the defense is a little bit better than the offense, but they could also use some work i mean after seeing that roster if we want to be your super bowl favorites hopkins is gonna have to have one hell of a day today but either way in week one it looks like we're gonna be taking on the new orleans saints and i mean i feel like this should make for a pretty good game to start things off because i mean where these two teams are at right now i feel like this is a pretty even matchup derrick henry is gone that's gonna be a first down and we're still bro no way i could break away for a touchdown if i really wanted to that is gonna be a crazy start for the titans i actually can't believe that that worked out for that much yardage as i was just about to say too this is the 2023 season so that does mean we have derrick henry on this team still which is definitely gonna be helpful but either way two plays into the game we've already got deandre hopkins in the end zone so that touchdown right there is gonna give us the lead and that means we get to add at least one player after this game coming back out here in the second quarter though i mean as you can see we have great field position because our defense got an interception so i mean we have a chance to go up by two scores right now henry's getting shut down this time though i was really hoping he'd be able to break away for another crazy pickup but i mean either way we didn't real oh, dude i should have waited hopkins was open last second and we're gonna fumble the ball and i mean of course they scored after that that was just a horrendous drive we're just gonna pretend like that never happened i'm gonna try and go for hopkins again here though that should work come on okay no this game is really starting to turn over on us okay that's another terrible end to another drive and i mean of course they scored again after that so now we're down 14 to 7 that happened really quickly i mean that seven point lead disappeared very fast and it looks like we're getting sacked i was just waiting for somebody to get open there obviously that never happened i don't know what's going on but our o-line kind of just gave up on playing like oh come on please work out we need this that's gonna be a first down from the tight end so that is gonna save the drive as i was saying it seems like our o-line just kind of gave up midway through this game because they have not been giving any blocks for us but anyways i'm gonna try and go back to hopkins here this time that's not gonna get picked off so that's another first down i mean obviously there's still a lot of game to be played so i feel like if we can get in the end zone here we will obviously we're gonna be right back in this thing so hopefully this works out and it looks like we're gonna have deandre hopkins open in the end zone once again so that's gonna be his second touchdown of the game and more importantly that's also gonna tie things up but anyways as you can see this actually ended up being a very close game just like i expected i mean we're in overtime tied up at 35 right now so this is obviously a very important drive for tennessee what a play to start off ot that was an absolute dot from levis right there i'm gonna try and go for hopkins though if he's locked up we might be able to go for burks but i'm kind of betting on this we're getting sacked okay of course i really don't want to try and do too much here because i mean if we score a touchdown obviously that does put things away but an interception right now would be an absolute killer i gotta rush that off but once again no way you cannot tell me that's out of bounds they forced a fourth and 18 after that though so i mean if this doesn't work out we are absolutely screwed because if we give the ball up they're basically already in field goal position but we're gonna get the first down to keep the game alive I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that is by far the biggest play that we have made all game today so i mean as long as we capitalize off of this we should at least get a field goal I'm going for you because Hopkins is locked up. That's going to put us in scoring position. So as long as Tennessee gets 10 yards here, that is going to put the game away. I'm really hoping Hopkins can be open off of this slant route. That's going to be close and that's going to be pass interference. I mean, obviously that really helps out our case because now we only need to get two yards here. Last time I ran this play, it did work out for a touchdown as well. 
and it looks like it's going to be the same story this time. So Hopkins is going to hold on to it, which is going to give us the overtime win in week one. I mean, as I said earlier, these two teams were very evenly matched, but I didn't expect this game to go to overtime. But either way, that is one hell of a way to start off the season. But anyways, after that game, we got to add three new additions to this team. Our O-line definitely needs some help. So, I mean, first thing I did was pick up Trent Williams. And to help out the defense, we also went ahead and picked up Nick Bosa and Jalen Ramsey. So after those pickups right there, I mean, this team should be quite a bit better. But after that, we sim to week four. As you can see, we're going to be taking on the Bengals and we are also 3-0. and So I mean, it seems like this team has been playing very well ever since we got those upgrades. But to be fair, at the same time, I mean, the toughest team we've played this season is the Cleveland Browns, which I mean, I wouldn't say Cleveland is an easy team to beat. So I mean, we did take down a playoff team, but the Bengals are up until this point going to be the hardest team that we've played it's never easy to take down joe burrow i mean obviously the Bengals had an off season last year but if burrow stayed healthy all year i feel like they would have made the playoffs i guarantee you that play is coming back isn't it that's how it always goes bro i mean i swear we make a big play and our o-line holds almost every time oh yeah we're gonna have hopkins open though so that kind of makes up for the o-line's mistake I actually don't care i'm still mad about that last play because derrick henry had such a solid run and all of that was for nothing i'm gonna try and go for a shot with burks here though i mean if he's locked up hopkins should be open so i mean whoever's open i'm gonna go for here it looks like burks is gonna be the best option so that's gonna put us in Bengals territory i really want to try and run this again man this time i'm gonna go for hopkins though and if this works out it should go for a touchdown that's gonna be close but it looks like we're gonna hold on to it through to contact so that's gonna be hopkins first touchdown of the game and just like that the titans are gonna to tie things up i mean honestly i feel like this game is also gonna come right down to the wire we're coming back out here in the third quarter though i mean as i expected once again we have another very close game we're down by a touchdown though so i mean we kind of need to score here i mean if we get shut down obviously i wouldn't say the game's over yet but if since he gets the ball back and scores another touchdown to make it a two score game we are gonna have a problem so i'm really hoping we can capitalize off of this the Bengals did force a third and eight after that though so i mean we're already kind of in danger of giving the ball up but it looks like burks is gonna keep the drive alive and that also brings it all the way to the 30 so just like that we're in scoring position i'm gonna try and go back for hopkins here that's gonna be close but that oh that's kind of a brick but it looks like he's gonna get it and we got another first down so i mean at this point it seems like we are kind of rolling right now i just gotta make sure we don't throw any interceptions or anything i just gotta be careful with the ball yeah oh, that's gonna be close okay somehow we're still up that almost went for a touchdown four yards to go i mean i feel like levis definitely should have gone down there but i mean i'll take it i'm not gonna complain about a play that's going my way that's close come on hopkins again this play has been pretty much unstoppable from the five yard line out that's another touchdown from hopkins and just like that the Bengals are gonna tie things up so i mean from here on out i feel like our defense kind of needs to clutch up for us and i mean after that as you can see it looks like we were able to get the job done i mean we only won by four points but a dub's a dub so that's gonna move us to four and oh but anyways after that game we got to add another two players to this team as you can see i decided to bring one of the best duos in nfl history over to the titans because as you can see now we have patrick mahomes and travis kelsey so i mean after adding kelsey and mahomes obviously this team is instantly super bowl contenders but after that we went ahead and sim to week nine as you can see we're going to be taking on the steelers and we are also six and one so i mean it seems like this team has been on fire ever since we got mahomes and kelsey i mean realistically we kind of been on fire all season i mean the only team we've lost to all year is the baltimore ravens but anyways i'm gonna try and go for deandre hopkins here and hopefully he can get open off of this play if not never mind that's gonna work out i was gonna try and see if we could hit kelsey but that's gonna give us a whole lot of yardage i kind of want to get something working with this guy though because i mean if we can get kelsey to go on a tear today i feel like this team is 
basically going to be unstoppable. That's a good start. That's going to bring it all the way to the 15. I mean, if we keep playing well, obviously this team's going to be a whole lot better than it is right now. But either way, like the way we have the roster set up now, we have weapons everywhere. I mean, we got Hopkins, Kelsey, and Derek Henry. And Hopkins is going to hold on to that for another touchdown. So that touchdown right there is going to put us on the board. And that's going to give us the lead. So that's going to make it a 7-3 lead for the Titans. And after that, it looks like our defense was able to force a fumble so we have the ball at the 47 to start this drive off so once again we have great field position that's going to be another first down from derrick henry as well as i said we kind of have weapons everywhere so right now this team is a lot of fun to use i'm gonna go for another run of derrick henry this time we're getting shut down though i kind of want to go for a shot with either kelsey or hopkins here though so if one of them can get open, that would be great. Nobody is on Travis Kelsey. Oh, dude, I could bring that back if I wanted to, too. I'm going to go down at the five, though. It really pains me not to bring that in for a touchdown, but it looks like it honestly might backfire because as you can see, it's third and goal right now. So the Steelers defense has been a lot better in the red zone thankfully we're gonna have hopkins wide open though so that's kind of gonna save the drive and put more points on the board so that's gonna make it a two score game with hopkins second td of the game so things are looking pretty good right now we're coming back out here in the third quarter though i mean it looks like pittsburgh is keeping things pretty close right now i mean it's 20 hold on henry that was almost a huge play all right, man, I guess I shouldn't say almost because that was a huge gain either way. But if he escaped there, that honestly could have been a house call. I'm going to go back for him here, though. And it looks like we're going to avoid the tackle and get another first down. I really like what I'm seeing out of Derrick Henry right now. So I'm just going to keep handing the ball off to him until this defense stops us no way we're still going come on oh my god i almost don't want to take the ball away from this guy because i mean it seems like every time i hand the ball off to him he just goes off for a huge play that's another first so right now derrick henry is absolutely dominating i'm gonna try and finish it off right here with hopkins though and that is gonna be his third touchdown of the game and that's gonna extend this to a two score lead once again so i mean hopefully our defense can put this thing away and as you can see it looks like we were able to put this thing away i mean we only won by three points so once again that game was a lot closer than i would have liked it to be but either way a dub's a dub and that one moves us to seven and one but anyways after that game we got to add three new additions to this team as you're about to see this team is looking absolutely terrifying I mean, for the offense, we went ahead and picked up Tyreek Hill. And to make this defense even better, we went ahead and picked up Chris Jones and Jesse Bates. But anyways, after that, we went ahead and simmed to week 15. As you can see, we're going to be taking on the Houston Texans. And we're also 12-1. and one. And I mean, as you can see, we already have a chance to get on the board. Because our defense forced a fumble at the 10-yard line. It is third and eight right here, though. So, I mean, we kind of need this play to work right Right now and we're gonna find hopkins in the corner so that's already gonna be a touchdown from deandre hopkins which is gonna put the titans on the board first so i mean that is definitely a hot start for tennessee we're coming back out here in the fourth quarter though i mean after the start we had you'd think this would be an absolute blowout but it's 21 to 14 so i mean it looks like houston has been keeping up with us hill is gonna get the first down though he's wearing number one which feels really weird but i didn't feel like stripping hopkins of his number so i just left hopkins at number 10 i'm gonna go on the ground with derrick henry after that though and hopefully he can get a first down i mean at this point i feel like if we can score a touchdown on this drive that should hopefully put this game away i'm gonna go back for deandre hopkins here though unless hill or henry can get open but it looks like hopkins is gonna be the best option so that's another first down so that's gonna bring it all the way to the 39 once again though i'm just gonna run another slant route because it seems like every time i do this with hill the guy is wide open. As you can see, it's going to happen again. Hill and Mahomes are such a dangerous duo, bro. I really hope Tyreek never goes back to KC. But anyways, 
that might end it right there i mean we're gonna have hopkins open and it looks like he's gonna push through for another touchdown so that's gonna be two on the game for him and that's gonna extend this to a two score lead so i mean hopefully at this point that will put things away and i mean as you can see after that it looks like we were able to close things out so that's gonna be another win for the tennessee titans i mean this team has been on an absolute tear this season but anyways after that game we got to add another two players to this team to end things off we just went ahead and picked up jason kelsey and lane johnson so i mean as you can see looking at it right now this offense is absolutely terrifying and on the other hand i mean i'd say we also clearly have the best defense in the league at this point so i mean after all of that i think it's pretty safe to say that our work here is done we're also 13 and 1 so i think we've already made the playoffs and it looks like the titans are gonna go 16 and 1 to finish off the season which is obviously gonna win the division and give us the number one seed and it looks like we're going to be taking on the 11 and 6 bills in the divisional round and it looks like we're going to sneak away with the win so now we play the jets out of all teams for a trip to the super bowl but it looks like we're also going to take down rogers and the jets so now we play the packers in the super bowl looks like the titans are going to be starting off the ball first here though so hopefully we can get off to a hot start henry's getting caught though this should be another close game though i mean the packers defense is pretty terrifying as you can see our offense is absolutely ridiculous though i honestly forgot that was a run play that kind of caught me off guard but that's still gonna be a decent pickup but since that brings up a third down we kind of need this to work out i'm gonna try and go for travis kelsey here though and it looks like he's gonna hold on to that for the first so that's gonna keep the drive going i'm gonna try and go back to him here if he's locked up i feel like we should probably have hopkins open but no that should be a huge play that should be a huge play let's go kelsey that honestly might go but we're gonna get caught that was really close though i mean that brings it all the way to the 12 yard line i'm just gonna try and finish it off with hill i don't know if i should even try and test that no we're getting taken down by the feet i thought Mahomes was going to be able to escape there but apparently not so that's going to back us up quite a bit come on hill please bring this in no way he drops that okay so i guess it's third and 16 i thought that was going to be a sure thing touchdown but i mean i guess we're kind of in a bit of a hole right now i'm gonna see if we can find hopkins Come on, please, bro. That's going to be a touchdown, and that's going to put us on the board first. After seeing Green Bay's defense, though, I'm definitely intimidated because, I mean, they did put up a pretty good fight on that drive, but either way, we have the lead. And I mean, as you can see after that, it looks like we were able to get the job done. That game was a lot closer than I was expecting it to be, but a dub's a dub, especially in the Super Bowl. I mean, as I said, Green Bay did put up one hell of a fight. They had a very, very solid team this year, but I feel like this was kind of bound to happen. So I mean, this Titans team is totally unfair. But anyways, as you can see to end things off, Patrick Mahomes and the Tennessee Titans are going to be hoisting a well-deserved Lombardi trophy to end end off this video but anyways that's gonna do it for this one if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it'll really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out